want to thank our first responders for their hard work, uh, and we want to thank the media for their patience. At this time, I'll turn it over to Battalion Chief Konoho. Thank you, Mayor. Also, thank the members of the media for being here this afternoon. Uh, the, just to give you an update, the fire department has suspended the operations at 1530 hours today due to fog and poor visibility. The passenger manifest confirms seven individuals were on board the aircraft and we have recovered six sets of remains. There are no indications of survivors. The department will, we intend to resume our operations at first light tomorrow, uh, morning weather permitting. Uh, the next, uh, we are still in the process of notifying the next of kin and we are not able to release any names at this time. The following area within hunting area H is closed to the public. This is Milolii Ridge Road, Nualolo Trail, including the area between both valleys. Thank you. Can you tell us any information um, as far as the, the, the folks that were found, um, ages and anything like that? No, unfortunately, I don't have any of that information at that time. Um, any more in-depth questions, I'm going to have to defer to Chief Raybuck and the Kauai Police Department. Hello, I'm Police Chief Todd Raybuck of the Kauai Police Department. At this time, we are not able to identify who we've recovered. The remains have been transported to Wilcox Hospital, and they'll remain there. A pathologist from Oahu will be en route uh, to assist us with the identification of the remains. Um, out of respect to the family members that we still have to notify at this time, I don't really want to get into too many details about the wreckage. All I can tell you is that it was uh, located in a steep area in Kokei. Yes, Correct. Uh, no, not at this time. Like I mentioned earlier at the 2 o'clock press conference, we are going to be, we're waiting the arrival of the um, NTSB lead investigator to arrive on the island. Any indications of when that's going to happen? Uh, at this time, I will tell you that the uh, gentleman is coming from Alaska at this time. They cover the Pacific region as well as Alaska, and I do not have an ETA at this time. Um, as you know, at the previous press conference, a question was asked uh, as to what the weather conditions were at that time. And anyone that is familiar with the Nepali coast knows that it can be clear in the morning. And with the trade winds that we do have, it can, weather can roll in, including fog, fog excuse me, just like how it did today with our operations as well. Who was at the beach yesterday? I cannot confirm that, unfortunately. Any information about the pilot or their experience level or anything like that? Uh, once again, I do not have that information available at this time. Any other questions? Have any of the tours, are the tours been restricted or, or are they under any sort of restriction? Uh, like I mentioned earlier at the 2 o'clock conference, the only restriction that we have was a templar, temporary flight restriction, a TFR, to keep the aircraft above 2,000 feet to allow our searchers to have a safe working zone. I'll take one more question. If not, I want to thank you guys very much. Mayor, do you have any closing statements? Um, once again, we ask for your continued thoughts and prayers, and thank you for your patience. Thank you.